You can see here the features I have enabled are uh, just the VBAT and RX Serial. Um, RX Serial is working okay. We'll head over here to our receiver tab. <coughs> And you can see that my receiver is connected and sending data in and out correctly. And if I arm the motors with just these features enabled, you can see the motor is spinning and everything is working great. Okay, so I'll head over to the command line interface. And we'll go ahead and enable telemetry. And we'll pull up the serial data just so you can see how those are configured. And you can see here the only serial options that are configured are scenario one is one, which is the default with our MSP telemetry and uh, CLI going across serial one. Serial two is three, which is for our uh, S bus coming in on the serial two port. Um, also of note, the serial one is connected uh, typically to my OSD and I have that removed so that communication with my command line interface doesn't interfere. Okay, so with that enabled, I'll go ahead and save this. <clears throat> we'll head back over to the receiver tab so we can watch the results. All right, so you can see I still have Receiver still functioning, everything looks good. Uh, all I've changed is that I've enabled telemetry. And when I arm my motors, the board is now frozen. So nothing I do, no more data coming across. All right, let's go ahead and uh, reboot this board. Head back over to receiver. You can see that I still have receiver communication after rebooting the board. Go back into my command line. I'll disable telemetry. Save this. Head back over to receiver so we can watch the results. And if I arm my motors now, everything works great. <laughs> 